Chameleon has set together. Got a chair, got a lamp, got some art. Well, today the table, the uh, coffee table was delivered. We still need the carpet so that it'll take away from the echo and our couch. Once the couch comes, that'll be really fun. That being said, we sent Connor six feet to our left to put the coffee table together. Connor, who's a man of very few words, but when he does speak, says very poignant things. Out of the blue, when we almost fell off our chairs, says, I'll finish this coffee table before the end of the show. Not realizing, of course, the show ends in uh, like 20 minutes. Uh, should we show where Connor is right now, or just let's? Oh, now he took out the directions. Oh, well, I just want to see which way. Which and there's one. screws. Are there screws involved? Yeah. Okay. Let's let Connor do his thing. Connor, man, I'm totally with you. Thank you. I'm not against you. I'm you saw me you. do your uh, iPhone. I know. I was really impressed with that. Do with my hands. <laughs> That's what Mary told us. How was Mary, by the way? Good. Yeah, she gets back uh, tomorrow or Thursday. She's going to have to come on the show. She at a time that we're not sitting in a diner or at a mall. She uh, could actually have some. She didn't have school for a couple weeks. So. Uh, so she went home. Anyway, I spent a lot of time over the holidays thinking, Lance. And I must say that I know sometimes I give you a hard time. And I give Connor a little bit of a hard time, like a baby hard time. But I look back, and what am I most thankful for this year? Honestly, it was having met you. It was. And I oh, know that's not, that wasn't your answer. Yours was like, oh, I'm, I'm most thankful for that cheeseburger. I don't know. No, I, was, I, no I, I am. Like, I needed to meet you. And like, sometimes in life, you need to meet people, but you don't realize when you've met them that you needed to meet them. You know, and it's not till years and years go by that we actually, there's that great expression, the years teach much, which the days never know. And you only gain perspective when everything's in your past. But wouldn't it be a novel concept to be able to get a little bit of perspective while you're in it? So <clears throat> I'm trying to do that. I'm, I'm trying with my children and my parents and my partner and you, Lance, to gain perspective while I am living the life. And it's very easy to say, well, this is just starting out, and I can complain, and I can, well, it's not there yet, and, you know, I want my kids to be brilliant, and I, I, I wish I already got them in summer camp, and I wish Stephanie got everything coming to her, and I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, but it's not always wonderful to have everything we want by the way. There's something about the journey that is very sexy. There's something about the journey that builds character, that puts hair on your chest. There's something about taking two steps back that propels you to take three steps forward. And as I get older, I oh, Connor, there's somebody at the door? That. Connor. No, I think that was... Oh, that was you? And I really like that. I love that. And so I wanted you to know that I Thank think you. I really needed to meet you. I was stuck at the Today Show. And I, I, this is, I speak a lot about this in these big speeches I give, that sometimes a crossroads falls in your lap and you fail to recognize it, and then it leads you, and not until years later do you realize you had an opportunity to change your life and you never did it because you were too stuck in your life. And you know what I mean by being stuck in your life? I mean, you go to your nine to five job, you know, everyone else is sending their kids to this camp, so you do the same. Everyone else is, you know, on the, the the conveyor belt of life, so you do the same, and you're so afraid to veer left or right that you don't, and you end up stuck. Did you shit so I was on this conveyor belt at the Today Show, and I was in this life, and had I not crossed paths, crossed paths with Lance, I don't think I ever would have tried this. Whether whether it turns out to be, however big this turns out to be, I, I don't know but it was something I needed to do. And I will have always regretted it if I didn't. And so I, for everyone in my life that says, well, what the hell are you doing? I don't understand, why would you leave the Today Show for this? It's not, I don't need to explain myself and I don't need to explain um, my reasonings for everything, but I will tell you that I am so happy I met you. And if anyone there outside of, of this show has a chance to take a, a leap into something, I say you do it. I say you try it. As long as you can still support your family, do something crazy because you don't know in life when you'll ever get the chance again. And even though it is so superficial and stupid, 
I always liken it to Dan Marino. Right, so Dan Reno is this great college quarterback and he makes it into the NFL and he's playing for the Miami Dolphins and what, his first or second year makes it to the Super Bowl. He doesn't win, but he doesn't care that much because he knows he's got another 20 years left in his career. He's a franchise player, he'll get back again. Never got back again. And how he probably wishes more than anything he could have tasted every single second of having been in the Super Bowl. And maybe there's something he would have done differently or appreciated more. Or, or taking full advantage of. And I know it's so stupid and different, but I'm doing that with my children. I'm certainly doing that with the show, and it took me a while to get on board with it, and I'm doing that with Lance as well. Remember how few little patients I had? I expected perfection. Right, well, it's, well anyway, it, we, we I, beat you down. I beat you down enough. I realize this isn't network television, where if you're not perfect, you don't get on air. I, I'm going to embrace the imperfection. I'm going to embrace the fact that I'm a work in progress. I'm going to embrace the fact that every day that I get up, I have to learn something. And before I tuck Harper into bed every single day, every single night I say, tell me something, tell me something you did today, tell me something you learned today, tell me something that happened today. Just to get her in the habit of understanding what perspective means. So then she says it and I ask her how she feels about it. It may be going in one ear and out the other and I'm completely okay with that. But she's understanding and learning that, um, that, that things lead to other things and, and uh, it's important to think about them and to learn from them, good, bad, or otherwise. So that is my perspective on the day. I wish you could all see what's going on to my left. There's a little bit of crack and that's cool. I, that's cute. You have a really cute butt. I got to tell you, Connor, I'm really, it's good. Sorry. That's okay. There's a lot of screws, a lot of styrofoam. And hopefully there'll be a lot of coffee tables in about 20 minutes. Um, what's happening out there, Lance? Uh, comments? Okay, so MayQuest33 says, you may have accomplished, you have accomplished this new goal, but do you ever think of going back to today even if we're part-time? Yeah, I think about all of it. I, I loved my time at the Today Show. And if, you know, if the opportunity came to do some stuff in the morning, of course I would love to go back. Um, I will not take myself away from this though. I think this is something that is going to be huge in a couple of years. Uh, and it's, I say, I liken it to, you know, the production company that wanted to sell House of Cards to Netflix. And everyone laughed and said, why in the world would you put it on this thing, Netflix? Go put it on HBO or NBC. Go sell it to a real place. Like, why would you want to, or Amazon. You're, that's where you buy things. Why in the world would you watch stuff there? Well, guess what? They now have amazing series and people would kill to be on Amazon and kill to be on Netflix. And at the time, people thought they were nuts. I'm not saying you think I'm nuts. I'm just saying not everybody understands this path that I've chosen. But yeah, I'd go back to the Today Show. Not in view of this, in addition to this. I would probably bring more people here. Yeah. So, um, sorry about that. Cute. Let's get Oh wow, there's somebody talking about the high bidder on your pick, shout out. We have your picture, I have the autograph picture up on the auction. Oh, we do? Right. What is that, like $4? <clears throat> I don't know how far. It's okay, don't even check, it's too humiliating. Well, we just put it up. Oh, okay. oh, so it's up for a week. Uh, motivated, Motivate Fitness, as I heard you speak at IDEA and Blogfest this past year, everyone raved about you, you are real and authentic, you are Thank an you. inspiration. Thank you, your message and journey should be shared. Much appreciated. Thank you for saying that. I should come in and do that speech one day. I gave a speech at... Um, what was it about? Life, one step in front of the other, and how some people are able to do it and some people just can't, and some people succeed and some people are stuck. Right. And, well, uh, I mean, that's a lot of what you have in the book, and that's a little bit, I think, maybe what this whole chat with Jenna thing yeah. like, gets into that kind of, like, preparing for this kind of a segment, I think, is, is important. Yeah. Kayla Elise says, thank you for the New York advice. I also told my, I think she was last week. Sure. Yeah. Thank you for the New York advice. I also told my family about the, about the advice you gave me on Thursday and they were so grateful. My brother thought it was so cool that I got to tell you. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for saying that. It means a lot to me. Ellen Mikulski says, you make me laugh when this you at the Today Show. Thank you. And now you have me here. And she says, awesome teaching to your children. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm not perfect. Bar Best Wright says, without setbacks, without setbacks, you wouldn't know triumphs. 
That's right. There's actually a great... We didn't do this the other day when we were doing the quotes. The man in the arena, did we ever talk about this? I'm sorry. It just reminded me of... Uh, there's a Teddy Roosevelt... Um, where this, he gave a speech at the Sorbonne in 1910 that I just want to read to you because I think as it's coming up. Is this going to be like the last one where I didn't understand any part you're of gonna understand. Paragraph? You're going to understand this paragraph, I guarantee you. Okay? okay. If, this is the last time I'll read it. If, okay. if this is a bomb, one second. if this is a bomb, I will, um, I will never read again without anything. So this is... Okay. This just reminded what what Barb said reminded me of this. So when she used the word triumphs, that's that word is actually in the in this quote, and that's what sparked the thing. So here we go. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done be, done, done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory or defeat. Love. Yeah, love. I, I thought you'd be into that one. Absolutely love that. All right. Okay, those are... Let's see. Somebody's asking if you heard about Carrie Fisher. But... I know. Can you believe that? Carrie Fisher, Gary Shanley, George Michael, Prince... Florence Henderson, what happened this year? What happens is that as you get older, I know. more people that you're familiar with die I know. when they're actually older. Like it's. Death they, they weren't old. None of them were old. Florence Henderson. She was. Gary Shandling wasn't. Carrie Fisher wasn't. Right, George but when Michael you start with wasn't. people like. Because we, we don't. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, we don't think of people in their 60s as being old. But it used to be that we didn't think. But how many of them died from natural causes? I guess that's true, yeah. So, anyway, let's keep going. I don't know uh, okay. MateQuest33 says, You're awesome. I would watch you in no matter what you choose to be in. I love you. Honestly, love you. That was so cool. Thank you so much. Sadie Miller22 says, You're so pretty. Thank you. I don't know about that. Thank you. Motivate Fitness actually says, yes, he, Motivate Fitness is the one who pointed out about the idea. Oh, okay. Yes, you should. Great topic. I look back on my notes often. Okay, let's do that. It's like a 20 minute speech. Why don't I do it sometime? You know what? That's actually Bring it a great tomorrow. idea. We'll do that for the opening segment. Not the other. Let's do it for this chat with Jenna segment at the end of the show tomorrow. You want to do it at the beginning? No, I'm happy to do it at the end and we'll tease it. It'll be yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Brandon K. Drummond. Oh, actually, tomorrow we have Thursday. Thursday. Brandon K. Drummond says, how are we doing, Connor? We're doing. What does Brandon say? He says, you're such a great person. Miss you at NBC News. Thank you. B.I. Schmidt. The only person that doesn't miss me at NBC News is NBC News. <laughs> okay. They obviously are very much in touch with their audience. Yes, they are very happy with their people. B.I. Schmidt says, you know what I love about you? Your zest for life. Keep it up always. The fun times with the girls and sharing your life with Steph. Thanks for keeping me laughing. Thank you very much for saying that. Terry, this is, this is the Instagram account. Terry I.M. says, Terry E.M. 1971 says, I'm behind on the times. What are you doing now? So I started a four-hour daily talk show, the Jenna Wolf Show, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, simulcasted across Twitter, Periscope, Instagram, and Facebook, and YouTube, and you now. And we are discussing life, and we are motivating and talking about fitness and health and entertainment and politics and blah. 
rack, movie brackets, and just about everything. Uh, I opened up, stretched open my horizons, and uh, now I can sort of go off and talk about anything, not just the few minutes here and there I was allowed at the play show. So I love this. We'll talk to people, we'll interview people, we'll work it out, we'll play, we'll go ice skating. Maybe we'll do ice skating on Friday, Lance. That'll work. Okay. I have to get my skates, but I'll just use the skates here, I guess. Uh, <coughs> okay. Somebody was actually asking if there was a falling out at NBC, and what were the main reasons for leaving? No falling out. The falling out with me? Yeah, that was their question. No, I mean, it's like your usual stuff. You sort of come to the end of your time. I think they weren't sure what to do with me, and I wanted to do more than they wanted me to do, and they really wanted me to focus on fitness, and I just felt like I could do so much more than just fitness, so I needed to go out and try a couple other things, but no fun at all. Somebody wants to know if you do any obstacle races. Yes, I do Spartan. I did six Spartan races last summer. Woo! And then, do they do um, Spartan races in the winter? No. They stop, and in the, in the winter, it's, um, unless it's like an ultra beast. I guess they do it a lot of them on a ski. On, on, in the summertime, on ski slopes, yeah. yeah. So you were doing it at Killington, right? Like I did it at Killington, I did it at Tuxedo, New York, I did it in Pennsylvania, I did uh, one in City Fields, but I love Spartan races, yeah. L Bells 3 says, Jenna, I need some inspiration on eating healthy and working out. I'm a working mom and just so exhausted. Any little tips that you do in your day today that can help? Stop eating carbs after 6 p.m. Stop eating simple carbohydrates. Let's start with that. No sugar, no flour, no wheat, no pasta, no crackers, no rice, no sh wine, nothing after 6 p.m. You would be surprised how quickly you start losing weight with just that one small little tip. And then there's 29 more tips in my book, Thinner and 30, just like it. What are some easy workouts for abs? So a lot of ab work, just so you know, if you're talking, if you really want, are talking about your core strength, there are exercises you can do. If you're looking to like slim down in the stomach area, that's all diet. And I have a feeling a lot of people confuse the two. But if you're wanting to, to really engage your core, planking is fantastic, balancing on one leg is really great, engages your core muscles. Other than that, it's really a lot of dieting to get rid of that belly fat. Al from Delaware wants to know if you would consider going to Delaware and running in a 5K with him. Sure. Let us know about it. Send me an Send email. Send Lance an email at Lafer, L-A-I-F-E-R, at Gmail. Yeah, gmail.com. It's, uh, it's not Lance Lafer, just Lafer at, at, at Gmail. Gmail. Debbie4651 says... Jenna, thank you. You've been a great mother. You are a great person, a great example. Thank you so much for saying that, Debbie. Terry EM1971 says, awesome. Always loved your segments. Thank you, Terry. Brandon K. Drummond says, says, thumbs up. Keep up all the great work. You'll continue to shine. Happy holidays. I appreciate that. Same to you. Debbie4651 wants to know if you take some vitamins. I do. I had a, a very extensive blood work done to see exactly what's happening. And apparently I need a little more vitamin D, a little more zinc, a little more vitamin B, and I take something for iodine. But that's just because the doctor recommended it, not because I read it in some book or on some Instagram account and decided that it's something I needed. I don't like taking anything unless blood work shows that that's what I need. Okay, but other than that, I, um, I would like to believe that I am, knock on wood, a little bit healthy, sort of healthy, relatively healthy, although I won't say healthy that enough. I'm healthy enough. I was just talking to Charlie. I'm going to tell you, you want to talk about being human? I had a rough holidays. I, not a rough holidays as far as emotionally speaking, but I ate a lot. Like, I let my guard down, and I thought I would enjoy letting my guard down and just eating whatever I wanted for the most part. And it turns out I don't really enjoy it. I, I, the high has to be better than the low. The high has to be better than the low is bad. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. You have to enjoy eating more than the crappiness you feel the next day. The minute you feel worse the next day than happy while you're eating it, that's when you know it's time to change. So uh, Steph and I, I told you, we decided that's it. Enough is enough. I'm going to train every day, and then one night a week we're going to do yoga, and maybe one weekend we're going to do yoga. Both of you together. Together. We're going to try. So we've done the last two days of training, which is good. And we're going to do this. It's not just any yoga. Bikram yoga is insane. It's like 115 degrees. People pass out all the time. It's probably dangerous. No. Uh, it, it's great. It, and I've never been more flexible. At the peak of my Bikram yoga, when I was taking it a couple years ago, before I had kids, I was literally able to like fold my body straight down. I'm like standing straight up. I fold it straight down so my chest basically touched my knees. Now my chest can write a postcard to my knees, and that's about as close as they're going to get. But before that, it was pretty. So that's my new thing. Darren wants. Darren wants to know if I'm wearing the same boot, if I have my boots on, just like you, if it's boot day here. It's not boot day. It's boot, not boot day. I'm in my sneakers and... It's actually super, super warm out today. I know. I actually, but I, last week what I realized is I, I still can't find my, my winter shoes, like from the move. Well, guess what? You don't have to worry because it hasn't even been winter yet. Yeah, it's, I'll, I'll worry in a month or so. Make hey, quest. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Mayquest33 says, how do you control cravings and do you allow yourself to have them? Darren is pointing out that my ex sold them. I think that they just, I think I packed them in a box. I can't find them there. I, I don't know where they are. Uh, cravings are tough. It's hard. They're, it's good. Sometimes people say craving, uh, sugar craving is actually worse than nicotine, believe it or not. Igloo Lax. 91. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Look, there's no easy way to do it. I mean, I'm going to be rude about it. You shut your mouth. You got to just, you got to, like, bow, bow down to the, the you know, the your will power and say, I, I, I hear you. I'm going to listen to you and we're in. Darren, it's okay. I don't need a handout for my shoes. <laughs> Thank you, though, man. Uh, the Igloo with El... Igloo Lax 91 says, give me a shout out. I did actually hey, want to point out that the thing that you're talking about with the cravings, we did that diet, that Farcocta diet. I got to tell you, it did more than anything I've ever experienced in my life to cut out bad foods all at once. And I think that's where you got, like, I got rid of a lot of cravings from it. Like, I haven't had, I literally stopped eating the M&M's. Like, I would eat M&M's all the time. I stopped eating the M&M's because of the Farcocta diet. I think I've maybe had, like, three M&M's yeah. since... And that, before we went into it, I lived on the M&M's. I was just like... G. G. Spencer wants to know, thoughts on dairy, good or bad? I feel better without dairy in my diet. I, I don't... I, I don't know enough science behind... Um, people will tell you everything that it's... They're so chemically processed, these cows are giving you chemically enhanced milk and all this other stuff. I took it out for a month just to see how I felt and I slowly started introducing it, very slowly, like a yogurt bar at night. And I just, I don't feel good with it. So you can get just as much protein, vitamin D, calcium from almond milk and, and various other substitutes. I took it out. Okay, so we're gonna get into some serious things here about the diet. So. Uh, L Bells is like Fakakta Diet, haha. And Obi Wan won. Well, what was the name of the diet you just mentioned that got rid of the cravings? So we should maybe go back to the whole. Yeah, so we did a single ingredient diet. We went one month, Lance and I, and everyone joined us. And maybe we'll do it again, maybe January or February. Uh, but it's easier. Did you say what year? I know, right? But maybe we'll see. If there's enough desire for it, if there's a call for it, we'll do it. We had no sugar, no processed sugar, no grains, no grains, no, no alcohol. alcohol, and yeah, no... Yeah, so like, that's actually like the one thing, like no alcohol. And no, and no wheat? No wheat. What am I missing? No, no dairy. Sugar, wait, no processed sugar, no dairy, no alcohol, no lagoons. No anything. It was like... Anyway, it was everything the had to be a single ingredient. Single ingredient. So. so one ingredient, like a carrot, it has only a carrot in it, an egg has just an egg in it. Uh, basically an effort to simplify what you're eating and get rid of all the crap. So if you look at a box and you want to eat something that has like 27 ingredients on it, you can't. So it really helped us sort of decrease yeah. everything. 
And, and I know, like, for myself, I substituted potatoes for bread at night. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't seem like a big thing, but, you, you know, like, a potato, it's 100 calories in a potato. Right. It's more filling than a piece of bread. Than a piece of bread. Sure. And if you cook it the right way, like, that was the other thing. I had stopped using butter. Yeah. Like, now I use olive oil all the time. So, question here is, what type of exercises, and what type of exercises do you do? And what was also before that, where can I get your book? You can get my book on Amazon, it's called Thinner in 30, and it came out this year, actually, and now it's in paperback, so it's even more inexpensive, and we should, we should do contests and give away a couple at some point, or sell them on eBay, or whatever, I have a bunch of them. And then the other question is what kind of exercises do I do? I do a lot of hip training, which is a high intensity interval training. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, or am wraps. You do as many rounds as possible of like a group of exercises, and then you rest and you go back into it. That's the kind of stuff I enjoy doing. Right, Darren was actually carrying a conversation here with somebody who said that our show was not very engaging because it's just two people talking. So this person, I guess, doesn't find the concept of conversations engaging. It's okay. So, <laughs> so, no with it. so Darren it. said, Darren said, leave. <laughs> Why? Okay. You know? I, I welcome all, all of it, good, bad, and otherwise. So. Right. Not everybody's into conversation. I get it. I get it. Uh, what would you like me to do? Like, in your ideal world, do you want me to do, like, some backflips? Do you want me to do a handstand, an exercise? I would love to know what you'd like me to do. Roxy Lou says, I have knee replacements. Any ideas for low impact thing? And Darren actually says, I can listen to Jenna all day. Thank you, Darren. Dude. Low impact exercises? So if you're at the gym, I mean, first of all, swimming is the best thing you can do for knee replacement. Uh, I, I absolutely love swimming, walking, depending on how low you can squat down, sitting down in a chair and standing up. One of those is fine. 50 of them, you'll really feel it. Those are to get started with. Watch what happens, says oh, uh, Brad Pitless is actually saying not just all day, but all night. <laughs> and Swatch what happens is nice shoes. Seems oh, like your boots you. are a good fit today. The, okay, Amanda Dell 22. <laughs> it's actually, uh, it's so much, it's so, we're having Connor's like, I know. noise situation going on here is actually, it's no, it's funny, it's, it's like, it's about that. Good, because we have like three minutes left. Oh, okay. So, I have a few questions here. Yeah. Amanda Dale, 22, says on treadmill because of winter, is there a big difference from running outside? I live in Cleveland, so it's a tough one. If, if, if the difference is treadmill or nothing, you better get yourself on a treadmill. I happen to like working out on a treadmill better. I love data, right? So I love knowing exactly how fast I'm going, exactly how far I've gone. I love being able to control the incline for different kinds of workouts. But that's preference. Lance loves working outside. He loves to go. I hate data. Girls. I hate data when I'm exercising. I you just, like what? Data? I don't like data when I'm See, exercising. See, I need to know. I don't like just being out and being like, oh, I, I got a good walk in. I feel good. I need to know that I worked out, and then it doesn't matter what else I do. I do the only thing I do is like when I run, I just, like, how long have I run? So yeah. it's just like, I've run for half an hour, if I run for 45 minutes. Gotcha. But it's a little bit like you with the, um, what's that, plank thing? Or like how long you hold a plank. Like that's how long I can run. Right. May Quest 33 says, have you thought about opening a gym in New York with nutritional education? Yeah, I thought about it. You want to help fund it? I'm happy to do it. It's a big effort. I want to go and get this off the ground first. Darren doesn't know why Connor can't do this more quietly. He's almost done. <laughs> uh, because he's also like trying to do it quickly, Darren. Jenna and Darren. Jer Jenna and um, Connor are having a race of sorts. Brian Yarger says, you are just getting started. Hang in there. But if you are going to work out or do flips, I'm there also. Thanks. Swatch What Happens asks, have you ever participated in a triathlon? No, I'm not, a, I'm not a long distance runner in any way. I have, um, I played a lot of years of volleyball, many years of volleyball, and I have like grade three or four arthritis in my right knee from all that cartilage that is like, so I don't run at that time. Roxy Lou says, thanks Jen, I will try the chair squats. I'm ordering your book, thanks so much. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Rock God Wife says, is it okay to do crunches daily? 
Yeah, just make sure you're doing them right. Oftentimes, if you're not doing a crunch right, I'd rather you do mix it up or do some planks, which is really going to engage the core more than, than just the crunches. Brian Yardner says you are doing a great job. Thanks, Brian. Besos. MayQuest33 says I would definitely join. Awesome. Deb, 4651 says, why make so disciplined when it comes to exercise? Why what? Why have so much discipline when it comes to exercise? I mean, why not? It, what's more important than taking care of your body? Name one thing that's more important, because if you say your children, or your job, or making money, or anything, you can't do any of those things if you're not working. You have to work for all that to happen, and what does work mean? Stand up and sit down on the floor, be able to pick up laundry, be able to carry your children, be able to get up and go to a job every day. All of that is easier for you to do if you're in decent shape and your body works. Kayla Elise actually asks, do you sing? Yes, she does. Not very well, but I... Come on, give us do what, dear. No. Please. No. We'll do it another Lumineers. Time. Something. No. Somebody. Come, for, come on. Nobody wants to hear me sing. Okay, Darren is asking me to reset for those joining for the first time. Darren is asking? Okay, we have one more minute left. He just wants to reset for the new audience. Like, there's a lot of new people. Oh, here. okay. So, so this is the Jenna Wolf show. Uh, I, a uh, former Today Show fame, in fame, whatever it is, left there and I started a daily four hour show, 11 to 3 every day. We're live uh, across Twitter, Periscope, Facebook, Instagram, You Now, YouTube. We simulcast throughout it all. We just moved into a new place. We are slowly getting furniture, as you can hear. It is in the process of literally being delivered. That's why there's an echo. We discuss absolutely everything. So come join us every day. I will talk to every single last one of you before I um, before I, I sign out for the day. It's interactive. It's engaging. We talk politics, sports, entertainment, fitness, health, and life, most of all. So hope you can be a part of it. A few more comments here. Okay, the Latin from Manhattan says, you're so wonderful, Jenna. Thank you. Deb, 4651 says, whoa, you are great, I love you. Thank you. Monet Blue says, what is the best exercise when you have arthritis? I, I'm, I'm always very weary about giving uh, medical or fitness advice to anyone who has any sort of medical condition, so I, Please forgive me, I just would rather not give you a piece of advice. You do it, something happens, and then I worry. So please, if it comes to that kind of stuff, just ask your doctor. L Bells 3 says, what are your New Year's plans? Having dinner with friends, they're not very sexy plans, but Steph and I have not stayed up later than 9 p.m. in the last, like, three months, so I don't know how long it's going to last. Larry says, hey, nice chair and lamp. Larry, the, the, the um, coffee table came today. All we're missing is a couch and a rug. And then hopefully the echo will go away. And we need the little base underneath the rug. You know that like soft thing underneath the rug that sticks to the ground? I hope that comes with the rug. But everything is really, really awesome, I have to tell you. So we're so happy with everything. Thank you. MK56 something wants to know if you're taller than Al Roker. I am a little bit taller than Al Roker. I don't know. We're about the same height. Larry says both are on the way. Amazing. Connor, you want to bring in the table and show everybody what Connor Can accomplished I during? Sure. Um, there you go. Silence. Okay. 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 We got a table. Amazing. Connor assembled the table. Yes, Darren. Yes, Darren. He you did. Guys There's the have table. To move back a little bit. Now we just need that, um, we just need something, some decoration, and we need a carpet. It's getting there. Yeah. Brian Yarger says, okay, have a great day. Give the kids and wife hugs. I'm going to go buy the book now. Go do it. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. MKT1566 says, who is your favorite star political person you have met? Darren also wanted to know if... Steph got if you if Steph got any clothes so that you could for for Christmas so that you can wear them. That's very funny. I got her clothes that I'm gonna borrow so that actually works out just perfectly. I did get her a toothbrush that I'm now using. Not hers. I got two. 
Um, mm -hmm. Darren, I have checked out Periscope Producer. All right. Um, yes. One other thing. Yeah. Okay, a few more comments. Uh, E.K. Strange says you're an inspiration. Jenna, love this. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, multiple camera angles. I, I got it. We're going to get there. The Latin from Manhattan says, yes, what should we do for New Year's? Any suggestion for MS sufferers? We have a lot of comments. You want to, we need to go, right? Like, yeah, well, we all need to go. It's 3 o'clock. Oh, wow. Sorry. I lost track of time, guys. Um, you guys are amazing. We're only off from 11 to 3. Four hours. If we feel like we need more, please come back at 11 tomorrow and let's carry on this conversation. 11 o'clock. I will get to every single one of you. Thanks for everything. Any question you ever have about anything, I'm always game to answer. Honesty is the only thing I swear I will always give you. Last thing here is MayQuest33 says, love that you're doing this so awesome. I'll watch every day. Mwah. Kisses to you. Safe night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Table looks good. Be here now. That's right, Darren. See you soon. See you tomorrow, man. Be good. Let me see if I even have to leave.